G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here, and today we're gonna to take a look at a new component of Microsoft Syntex, and that is called the SharePoint Advanced Management, or SAM for short. Now, what is this all about? Well, it's a new Microsoft 365 add-on that provides a suite of different types of features that can help you and your organization manage and govern SharePoint and OneDrive, and also enhance Microsoft 365 secure collaboration capabilities. So the SharePoint Advanced Management features are administered by SharePoint admins inside of the SharePoint Admin Center. Now, some features can be used by the site owners, but a majority of the time it's gonna be done in the SharePoint Admin Center. And the topic of today's video is going to be around secure, securing your SharePoint document libraries with sensitivity labels, so default sensitivity labels. So when that means that you can uh, classify an entire document library and set a default sensitivity label on the library and then any document that is uploaded into that library uh, gets automatically classified or labeled with that library as well. Now, existing files that are edited in the library will also have that label applied if they don't already have a sensitivity label or they have a sensitivity label that is a lower priority, all right? Now, there are some licensing requirements around this um, add-on as well. So that is something to take into consideration. So using the feature requires one of the following licenses. The Microsoft Syntex SharePoint Advanced Management. So that's a SKU. Uh, so you, um, you need to either have that or Microsoft 365 E5, a5 or G5. Um, Microsoft 365 E5, A5, G5, F5 compliance or Microsoft 365 E5, F5 information protection and governance or Office 365 E5, A5 and G5. So just a few things to uh, make sure that you do have in place so that you can utilize this functionality. So where do we actually go to do this. So how do we classify or how do we set a default label for an entire document library? So we can see here that I am on a uh, just a, a standard SharePoint team site. I've got all the licensing requirements all set, ready to go. So in the document library, we click on the cog up the top and we go to the library settings. And what you will see when this is enabled and when you've got this capability is this new section here called default sensitivity labels. So you can see here, choose default sensitivity label that's gonna be applied to all Office files within the library. You can see here I've got general and highly confidential configured for this particular tenant. So let's go ahead and set a default sensitivity label in the library and we're just gonna choose general for this example. We'll select it there and we'll hit save. That's going to save. Now what we are going to do here also is let's just show the sensitivity label column. So we'll just scroll down, we'll choose sensitivity and we will apply. So now let's upload a few documents. So I'll drag a few documents across into the library here. You can see that they are uploading and we are now uh, have some documents in our library. Now what I will say is it does take a couple of minutes for this labeling to uh, apply to newly upload uploaded documents. So we'll just sit here and we'll wait for the labels to be applied and then we'll come back um, and have a look at what those what that looks like. So there we go, a couple of minutes has passed and you can see that those three newly updated files have now got the general sensitivity label uh, applied to them. Now when I select one of these files and hit the information uh, icon here, we can see that I still can uh, change the sensitivity label on that as well. So we can hit that and then that is gonna save and then that will remove the sensitivity label and we can then reapply it if we need to as well. Now, what about if we create a new document through the browser? Let's have a look and see what happens. So we've uploaded documents, they've uploaded into the library, a couple of minutes has passed, they've already got the, they've got the sensitivity label applied. So let's create a new Word document and let's see what happens. So I'll create this document, let's just add some random text in here. Um, we'll see that we'll jump back into the document library, shared documents, and then you'll see that that has automatically applied and it is there ready to go.
All right. So having the ability to set default um, sensitivity labels at the document library level, let's say at the container level there at the, as a document library, um, is a really good way to help users onboard them with sensitivity labels as well, because it is just a, a step um, removed for them to have to worry about actually applying a label. We can control it. We can set a, I, I guess, a base label at the library level there, uh, and then have the opportunity if it's more uh, secure, uh, or we need to apply a different uh, label in this case to a document, then we can also do that as well. Now, now, there's a few little nuances here around when uh, or will existing labels be overridden. So what we can see on the screen here is a little table about the existing labels and then also overriding uh, with library default labels. So if the existing label is manually applied at any priority, then the overriding, uh, then it won't be overridden at the with the library default. If it's automatically applied with a lower priority, then it will be overridden by the default document library label. Automatic applied at a higher priority, then no, it won't. Default label from policy at a lower priority, yes, it will. Default label from uh, from a policy at a higher priority, then it won't be um, it won't be replaced either. So. If the, if the sensitivity labels are of a lower priority, then they will be replaced with the library one, as long as that's a higher priority. So there we have it. I hope that brings you some value today. The Microsoft Syntex SharePoint Advanced Management Capabilities, or SAM for short, um, one of the components of that is the ability to set default sensitivity labels at the document library level. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.